Taylor Hall is obviously an unrestricted free agent at the end of the year, which means that his trade deadline value would be less. Guys that have a year or two left after this trade deadline, according to the way the NHL works, they have more value, right? right. So your, your chances of getting a first round pick for somebody are higher. Taylor Hall doesn't have that. All of the players I just named, except for Peugeot, had term left on their contracts. You uh-huh. were getting cost certainty. Yes. And so when we look at Buffalo, I feel bad for them. But the fact that he only signed for one year there is going to really hurt them. Man, I saw... And that's all they had available to them, probably, but... Forget, forget not getting good return for Taylor Hall. Like, forget not getting a first. What should give Sabres fans pause is I saw an article, I think it was on the leafstation.com. Should the Leafs trade for Victor Olofsson? And I went, what? This guy, he's got this year and next year left. He makes barely over $3 million. He's restricted free agent at the end of it. He's one of two guys on the Sabres who's actually scoring. Why would they get rid of him? Mm. And he's one of their only valuable chips is the answer. Who, do, who else do you want? Like, this is the other thing. There are so six teams that are uh, more than six points out of a playoff spot right now, but there are five sellers. I don't want anything the Sabres have. I don't want uh, outside of Taylor Hall. Who do you want? Like the know. only, the only guy Dolly. I saw Rasmus where I was Dolly. like, <laughs> Dolly. The, the, the fact his name is even being brought up. Fold, fold. If you, you can't use Rasmus to lean fold. So when my God, I don't know who's reporting that because I CJ and no. Elliot and it was talked about on Thirty One Thoughts was oh, on the podcast because he's been the second worst saber is minus twenty last yeah. I checked. The worst saber is Rasmus Dahlin at minus thirty. He's dash. He's like averaging dash one a game. Yeah, but they they had the probably not only they had one of the worst lineups. They had not a great coach. What, like, they, what's this guy supposed and, to but do? But he's also he also yes. hasn't looked good on the ice. Like he's been walked a couple big times and made some couple highlight reels just for how not good he's been. He has no season. support, and there's he's, been no improvement in his game as well. You expect guys who are that young to take a step each year, and Darlene hasn't been that player. Man, but how? Like, how do you take a step? Like Jack Jack Eichel has taken a step despite the odds. Right, like and the odds were, Jack kid. Eichel was gonna was not gonna be great because look at the look at the development system around him, it's terrible. And then you, and then who's Darlene gonna learn from? Rasmus off the boards, Ristolainen. Like it's it's just it's it's who who is there to and play I, with? And I'm looking at their D uh, fence. Oh, it's, please clip that. I'm looking at their defense. Ristolainen's got one more year. That's it. Miller's got one more year. That's it. Montour is done after this year. He's a guy I'd, I think I'd be interested in. Darlene's an RFA. Yoki Aryu's an RFA. Uh, Jacob Bryson has one year left on his entry level. Or, yeah, it's his ELC. And Matt Irwin, who you didn't know was a Sabre, but he is, uh, is done after this year. What? I feel like we had this conversation last year or a year ago. After this season is done, who is on the Sabres? <laughs> who the f- do they? Here's a fun question: Who do they protect uh, against the against Seattle? You they expose Jeff pre- Skinner. Oh, okay. you can't. He's got a no move. No move. This team so, sucks. So Eichel Skinner, you can't protect Darlene because he can't be exposed. Can you? Can you decline spots? Like, can they well, only use like maybe, three other spots? Maybe Take what you want. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, think about okay. So, if you're the Leafs, maybe you call Buffalo and you go, "Listen, we know we're going to lose Justin Hall or Travis Dermott. So, can we at least trade you one of them so that we can get some value back in if the offseason? A- I'm not talking about before the trade deadline. But yeah. if you're if if you're Kevin Adams and you and you have any sort of intel, we'll see what Kevin Adams can do. Like that. Forget that he's a rookie and has no experience and nobody else in the organization has any experience. Sometimes that matters. Most of the time it does. Sometimes it does not. Sometimes you get, you get this crazy GM who comes out of nowhere and blows people away. I tend to err on the side of, I'm a little concerned about the lack of experience there. Mm. But if Kevin Adams really wants to utilize this opportunity, I would be calling every team 
that is going to lose a valuable player and saying, we will take him, we will fire our assets back at you, and we will keep, we'll be able to actually have a good core. Like if you have Rasmus Dahlin, and then you've got, you know, and you're able to pick up a couple of guys that are Travis Dermott or Justin Hall level, suddenly things don't look so bad. They need to but be getting like Brooks like and Milan Mahalik and stuff like that, like the Leafs did. I, yeah. And, it, and it's worse. So I just realized they have a bunch of guys on IR. Like part of the reason they're bad is obviously Jack Eichel's out. He's the only guy on IR, though, out of five uh, with term. Jake McCabe, UFA. William Borgen, RFA. Rasmus Asplund, RFA. Tobias Reeder, UFA. Both goalies. Linus Allmark and Carter Hutton. Lukinen in the minors does not look ready. What's uh-huh. the plan? Like, what? literally, what's the plan going forward? But it's okay. They're investing in other parts of the team. From Lance Lasowski, sources tell me that the Sabres let go of another scout. The yeah, staff that was the next thing I was going to bring up. Perfect. There you go. The, st- uh, the staff... It- now has six people working under Jeremiah Crow, Jerry Fortin, Jason Nightingale. Uh, for context, the Leafs have 13 amateur scouts. This this is what I'm talking about. Like there's at present, there is no reason to believe the Sabres will get out of this. Like I may have I, to cr- I'm sorry, go well, ahead. Go ahead. Well, I was gonna say there are guys I like. Dylan Cousins, awesome. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, mm-hmm. but like Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. What are you supposed to do? What are you, you have nothing. You have nothing in the things you do have. You've ruined. You have Jack Eichel. That might be done. Lord, no, like how much more of this can he take? And Darlene, like, by the way, you I, may have to protect Darlene. So throwing that out there, his ELC comes to an end this year. You may, well, there you go. Him. Like Darlene, uh, Hey Rasmus, um, Here's your contract extension. I don't want it. Trade me. What? No, we're giving you a bunch of money. I don't want to trade me. Well, we're not going to do that. Well, I'm not. I'm okay. I'm sitting out. Guess what? Old school Lindros. I'm sitting out. Figure it out. I'm not playing. I'm not playing. Fuck you. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. Oh my God. They, no, no. That's got, they can't trade him. They can't trade Rasmus Stalin. You, you have to well, sell the team. Well, because here's the thing. They put, themselves, they put themselves at a disadvantage because they can't attract free agents. <laughs> they don't have any staff to scout good players, so they can't draft anybody. Like, you got guys who are doing double duty on, on scouting. You got a year where scouting is spotty at best because you can't see any of these players in person anyway, and a lot of them haven't played because of COVID. Like, where do you go? I mean, really, do you throw a bunch of money at the next free agent that can't get a con- a long-term deal? Like, because uh, let's be honest, Taylor Hall didn't want to sign in Buffalo. That wasn't no. like, man, D- Darren Darren Ferris, please call up the Sabres and let me play with the Sabres. They were no. the last team available. They were the last we team available. We heard the story. Some, yeah, he had some, other deals on the table, and then those fell through, and this was the last one sitting there, and he had to take it. Literally a Sabre by accident. Yeah. Yeah, because Darren Ferris probably maybe overplayed his hand. Oh my god. Just oh my god. Like I'm trying to what what was the guy's name? Was it Derek Grant? Here he is. Derek Grant was like sort of an afterthought. And then he got sent to the ducks, I believe. And now look at you, look at you go. He's on a three year deal paying him one point five million dollars a year to score seven points in twenty nine games for the ducks. You know, but like there are, there are players like that though, who are fringe players on probably contenders Mm -hmm. who get sent to a team like the ducks and look at me go, I'm producing here in this role. I have value in the NHL and they get a deal. Do you think fringe players want to be going to the Sabres right now? No. Because what happens? Okay. You're, you're going to be on like the second line. (laughs) You're going to be on like the second line. So there's your golden opportunity. But if you don't score, you're out of the league. You're out. It's true. It's true. If you prove you can score teams around the league, will go, you know what? Even the Sabres, the Sabres might want to keep you and they'll give you a bunch of money, but teams around the league will see that you scored with the Sabres and they'll be like, all right, that's a player. Let's make them an offer at least. And then you can leverage offers against each other, et cetera. If you go to the Sabres for the final, I don't know what, how, what's left. Let's say 18 games 
after the trade deadline, whatever it is, and you put up three points, you're out of the league. <laughs> that place is radioactive. I don't know what you do. I don't know what you do. Usually these conversations are fun. Like we, I always find myself fascinated with like the worst three teams in the league or whatever. It, because we get to play be a GM, armchair GM, and we try to figure out how to make them good again. I With the Sabres, it's like a blank slate. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do. That I don't know what to fun. do. What's that? That could also be fun. It blank could also be too. fun. Like, but the answer, the... The answer that a lot of people go to that is always wrong is free agency. I'm going to go to free agency and I'm going to spend a bunch of money. Okay. First of all, you're probably going to overpay for absolutely everybody. Yes. You can't rely on, you can't depend on getting a value signing because you have no fucking scouts. So I don't know what you're supposed to do there. And also nobody wants to go there. The Oilers are good and they have trouble signing guys. The Habs are good and they have trouble signing guys. Well, not so much this past offseason. 